Um, let's get into our last and most probably the most important topic of today. The Donda album finally dropped yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it all made sense mm-hmm. that it was dropped on Sunday. Because mm-hmm. in actual fact, this is a gospel album. Mm-hmm. Disguised as a rap album. As a rap album. And I was actually wondering, how are they going to categorize it? It's a rap album. It's a rap album. With all those features. Oh, okay. I okay, get what you're saying. It's a rap album. You but see, the content of it? Yeah, the content is... Because the, the, there are rappers that rap... About God. There is gospel rap, you know. <laughs> and those get featured under gospel. Yeah, so you, I, you, I, I you get what you're saying. Because he, he got like the most popular mainstream artist, right? To be on the album. And uh, uh, you'd assume, since yeah. it was made up like that, that it would go. Anyway, that's that's the way. It's, what was your take on this? Like overall, the, the 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 sound of the album. Before we get into the finer detail, the sound of the album. The sound of the album musically. Mm. You can't touch Kanye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Music, yeah. music wise. Yeah. Like m- the way it sounds. Yeah. You can't touch this man. You hear chords, you like you hear things you didn't think like. Yeah. You know, uh, when I was listening to it, mm. I felt because I love e, the life of Pablo, mm. right? Mm. And I felt this was like a cross between life of Pablo. I think life of Pablo had like about three, yeah, about three s- songs that are gospelly songs. Yeah. Um, Ultralight Beam and all of those guys. Father oh, Stretch My Hand. Yeah. And um, Jesus is King, which was like fully gospel, mm. right? And I think this was a cross of that. Into the content is gospel y, mm. but the beats and everything it gets and, and, the, and the sonically, mm. it just felt like Life of Pablo. And that album was underrated. I, I love that album, you know? Mm. So it sounded good and it shows that it's like. It's like when you've gone through like high school mm. and you didn't fuck around and, and you passed well, you know, so graduation is great, what, what, uh, mm. you know, uh, 808 is great, 8, uh, yeah. and all of that stuff. Yo. This is like my trick final hey, shit. And you're like, icing it. Yeah, and he aced it, bro. Oh. And he aced it, and he aced bro. it. Um, the length of the album. I thought it was going to be a problem, to tell the truth. Mm-hmm. I thought it was going to be a pro. Imagine you get track number, because obviously the opening is just him chanting, Donda. And then. Yeah, it's not really him, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then track two, it's him and Jay Z. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But then towards the end of the, of, of the album, you get a jail part two. Yeah. Just when you think the album is in decline, yeah. you get that kind of a song. Yeah. But um. So back to my question, the length of the album. What did you think of the length of the album? I didn't. I didn't see a problem with it. Okay, because I saw a lot of people like comment that it's too long. Because it's, it, I think on the last count we wa- we saw it now. It's on one hour forty nine minutes, mm. right? Um, in an era where a lot of albums around the forty five minute mark, mm. uh, that's an average of an, an of an album now. And to think that his last popish, if you want to call it, album was seven songs. Mm. Right? Mm. The one where he says, <laughs> if Kanye puts, Kanye, this guy's a fuck up. He said, the cover of that album, yeah, he did it, he took a picture when they were going to submit it. Mm. Right? He took a picture on the road mm. of the mountains yeah, and then wrote, you know the cover yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what is What is the name I'm of that bipolar, album? Bipolar, it's so, it's so awesome. Yeah, what was it? What was the name of that album? But mm-hmm. it said seven songs. It was, wasn't it? He's a, he's okay. Yeah, it, it, it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So, uh, and, and and now the the cover of this album is just a black screen. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and also, he doesn't uh, show the features mm-hmm. on the track list. On the track list. And I heard that. He actually made that on purpose because he wanted people to listen to the whole album. 
because if you show like the features then people go directly to those oh i like the baby boom mm. i like this one boom i like that one so it was pretty smart right but i think we still need a cover man <laughs> You know, we know he's gonna take it. I always must discount the album, dog. Uh, you, you do know we all. I think we all know that he's gonna re-engineer it and put in new songs, take out other songs, change some others. We all. Come, I mean, don't don't we don't you do you really think this is the final? This is the final draft. I don't know, man. I I I, I don't think I don't think he's, he's gonna take away anything from here. I think there's. Yeah. You have to remember all these features are paid for, the samples are paid for. Yeah. So if they didn't come out, then it doesn't have to pay for them. So now it's come out. You UMG wants their money, dog. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's not gonna be it's out of his hands now. Because I think he was actually also pressured to release Universal it. Universal apart. Yeah. He I saw a tweet he said he said Universal released it without his permission. Oh wow. Yeah. But then he submitted the album. Yeah, well. So <laughs> But um, what was uh, what was the most surprising thing from the album that we didn't expect, and it came through? The most surprising thing was from the new age rappers pulling up with real bars, mm. not gimmicking around like on their on their songs mm. that they're pop that they're known for, mm. like. You hear life stories mm, on mm, their features, mm, mm, like you hear story, like real story. Who would thought? Who would have thought the baby would spit what he's what he mm, what he spit mm, on the mm, album? Mm, mm, Little baby, who would thought he would he would do those things? I mean, I hate this nigga. What do you call um, Lil Yachi? Yeah, yeah Lil Yachty. Mm, yeah, whatever. There was some some you know some musicals. I was like. Okay, this, this if this guy gets tweaked a bit, the way Kanye tweaked him here, mm. he can go somewhere. Mm. Uh, baby Kim, I was like, shit. Okay, yeah. this nigga's like he took young up and coming or the 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 new generation, and kind of you know showed them the way, like paved the way. We mm. we have we have old, old uh, OGs complaining about these young niggas that these young niggas are ain't rapping about anything. Mm. Uh, they're not paying ages. You get a guy like Kanye, and this is not the first time he's doing this. Mm. You get a guy like Kanye taking those young niggas, putting them there, putting them here, and showing them the way. I mean, this is the guy that made Regros write, rewrite his verse three times on Monster mm. from mm. My, my Dark Beautiful Fantasy. He made Regros rewrite his verse mm. three times. So I'm guessing he, you know, directed this young niggas. No, right to this direction, right to this direction. Right, so that's why it, their verses came out sounding so beautiful. You see, that's that was the one thing that stood out for me. Mm. Um, for me, what stood out, uh, uh, you know, it's to be expected, but also it surprised me. Mm. Right, um, the features, okay, were very much the who's who of the people that are. Uh, are in the zoo now, right? Mm. The the Jay Z feature mm. still surprised me because there was a, a part where they say they taken it out and um, it still came through. Mm. The mere fact that they actually worked um, on a song together mm. that surprised me. Um, surprised me the Marilyn Manson. Marilyn uh, Manson. Yeah, the, the that feature was from left field. I didn't understand <laughs> it, but it seemed to have worked. Mm. Um, the um, there's a part where um, Larry Hoover Jr. Mm. is speaking and saying uh, thanking Kanye because I think Kanye had approached Trump uh, to try and get his father out, mm. and it, it's. That surprised me because of what Kanye purports. I remember we spoke about um, slavery as a choice, mm. which was basically trying to say black people choose to be oppressed. And if you understand what Larry Hoover said or what Larry Hoover is in jail for, mm. um, drug trafficking, um, killing people and all of this stuff, mm. 
that goes against that sentiment. Mm. Understand? Because we always want our communities, especially as black people, to uh, to do better. Mm. You know. So if now you're gonna embrace someone whose actions were to the detriment of black people, that's that's kind of odd. Mm. The the baby feature, which was suspected to have held back the album mm. because there was a back and forth between the baby's manager and Kanye's manager and U- UMG. Uh, they weren't really happy with the, with the song there and so forth and so forth. That surprised me because it seems like the stuff that the Tapebi verse, it really does, basically Tapebi is saying like, y'all are, uh, are stopping my free, uh, what is the free speech? I mm. understand and y'all are taking uh, food out of my kids' mouth and so forth. And why it surprised me is that why would Kanye take such an important a project for him, Donda, named after his mom, and bring this type of controversy into that. So, we talk about the the two controversies. If you know about Marion Manson, right, he's not the most upstanding gentleman. Mm-hmm. And now you add the baby, and it seemed like the baby was just recently added. Mm-hmm. If you actually listen to what he spits, mm. you know, it's not something that was done two months ago. It's mm. it's after this issue with him with the LGTB, mm. and to take that risk, you know, that's that actually surprised me, um, uh, because people are talking about it, and now it's it's, it's it's I don't think it's bringing the right attention to the project of this magnitude. Understand? I think this project is probably more important than the earlier projects of Kanye because mm-hmm. it means so much to him. It, it's, it's got his mom's name on it, mm-hmm. understand? And to bring that negative energy around it, you know? So that, that surprised me. So those, those, those were the surprises in terms of the features. Mm-hmm. Um, but sonically, I'd asked you that the album sounds dope, man. <sighs> like I said, it, it, to me, it, it's like, it's like, He's gone through his schooling, learned all the tricks, learned everything, and with his talent now he's doing his final exams and he's just the results have come out and it's aced it, you know. Um uh, so yeah man, congratulations to Kanye. We're gonna play out now with what I assume I think we spoke before. Our favorite song. Yeah. Okay. Um it was my favorite song. He got here, he told me it's his favorite song. We didn't sit and yeah, discuss it. <laughs> <laughs> Our I, favorite song, which is a lot of people say they like uh Little Baby. They like the Lauren Hill sample. Uh which was, if I'm not mistaken, what's the Lauren Hill s- sample? Um uh, what is it called? Come. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Um no wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? Uh believe what I say. That's the Lauren Hill sample, mm. right? Mm. Um, a lot of another dope song to look out for and maybe uh, bump is uh, the one with Lil Baby and the both ones. So Jail and Jail Part Two, which is with Lil Baby. Jail is with Kanye, all right? Um, I also like Jesus Lord, mm-hmm. which is quite dope. It's very dope. And uh, by the way, I think atheists are going to have a problem with this album. I don't know if to dance or not to dance, <laughs> but it's so good. <laughs> and it does that. But our 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 pick for the song that we're gonna play out with is Hurricane. Yeah, I think this song oh, is baby. fucking dope. Kanye also um, coming in. I would say so far, I probably got like about seven or eight songs that mm. I'm really fucking with currently. And I'm sure the others are not bad. Yeah. It's just I'm going to grow into them. Yeah. Understand. But I've got about seven. Because Off the Grid is also dope. Hey. You know. So, yeah, man. Is there anything else uh, you, you want to say before we, we, we play the song? Because no. this is our goodbye, by the way. Please, no. don't, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all the other things, man. And uh, catch us on your 
DSP, DSPs, uh, Google Podcasts, Spotify. Um, there's another one. Google Podcasts, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Apple, yeah. Yeah. And uh, like, subscribe, and do all the shiners, man, on YouTube. Uh, share. We need that. Oh, yeah, share that as well. Yeah. Share that. Share. It's, a, it's a joint. Yeah. It's, yeah, puff, puff, puff pass, <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah, so Hurricane and it, who is it feature again? Little Baby and uh, yeah. The Weekend. Features Little Baby and The Weekend. Guys, enjoy. Thank you for tuning in with us. Uh, we'll catch you guys on the flip side, man. Are we? Yeah. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs>